Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.10 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 4.10 is entitled The Wicked One. In Matthew 13, Satan is called the Wicked One. I have verse 19 for you of the King James Version of the Bible, which is public domain, and it goes like this. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Here's my comment. Yes, definitely, Satan is wicked. So, if you are clairsentiently sensing wicked things, you will know who is hanging out in your vicinity. By the way, all you light workers, there is no need whatsoever to try to save Satan. That's God's job and his alone. Let us leave it to God. And if Satan is pranking around with our friends and family, it is just fine to leave their salvation to God as well. When they see and feel our trust in God, they may turn to what will truly save them as well. But whether or not they choose to turn to God is totally within the dom domain of their own free will. I had a hard time finding a good image for you and I had to settle for an image of the human heart with an angel on one side and the devil on the other and various virtues in the heart. Not only that, but it looks like Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost and God the Father in the heart and the cross. So here's the, here's the picture. The human heart, a man's heart it looks like, with the Trinity in there and the cross in there protecting it, and on one side Satan and on the other side an angel. This is the title of the image, the heart of man, either a temple of God or a habitation of Satan represented in ten emblematical figures calculated to awaken and promote a Christian disposition by Johannes Gossner and Philip Friedrich Paschel, 1851, in Wikimedia Commons. The virtues indicated within this heart are sobriety, patience, industry, chastity, charity, liberality, humility, faith, love, and hope. So there you have it. The human heart, the heart of a Christian, encompassing the Trinity, embracing the cross and able to choose wisely between the whispers of Satan and the ministrations of the angel realm. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.